Religious monks and nuns have withdrawn from popular life for ages to live secluded lives of isolation, self-awareness, and religious devotion. This has driven religious adherents to construct monasteries in some of the world's most remote settings, from the Himalayas to the steep cliff cliffs of Bhutan, China, and Greece. Here are 12 of the world's most remote alpine monasteries. Somola, Turkey Somola is a Byzantine monastery dedicated to the Virgin Mary that sits on the edge of a 300-meter high sheer cliff face in Turkey's Altındır National Park. Barnabas and Sophronius, two Athenian priests who visited the region in the 4th century AD, are said to have built the monastery. The current construction is thought to have been built in the 13th century. The monastery is accessible by a narrow, steep trail and stairway through the forest, which was originally chosen for defensive purposes. It is approximately 4,000 feet tall. Many of the manuscripts and artifacts discovered within the monastery have since been classified and are currently on exhibit at Istanbul's Ankara Museum and Hagia Sophia Museum. Holy Trinity Monastery, Greece The Holy Trinity Monastery is perched on a tall sandstone buttress among Greece's famed Meteora rock formations. It was constructed in the 13th century as an Eastern Orthodox respect place, and it is one of hundreds of monasteries in the mountainous region. The monastery is only accessible by climbing more than 140 stairs and around 1,300 feet. However, ropes and nets were utilized to scale the rock structure until the 1920s. The building was featured in the 1981 James Bond film For Your Eyes Only and has been designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Key Monastery, India The Key Monastery is located in Himachal Pradesh's remote Spiti Valley in northern India. It is one of the most remote Buddhist monasteries in the world, located more than 4,000 meters above sea level in the Himalayan peaks. The monastery, which is estimated to have been established in the 11th century, is rich in paintings, antique texts, and Buddha imagery. It has survived natural calamities, invasions, and robbery over the years, and it still accommodates roughly 300 people at any given moment. Tong Kalat, Myanmar This Buddhist monastery is found on the extinct volcano, Mount Popa, in Myanmar. According to legend, the mountain is home to countless holy spirits known as Nats and possesses an array of holy properties. Sitting more than 700 meters above sea level, Tong Kalat is reached via a snaking path of 777 steps. It is now a popular site of pilgrimage in Myanmar, with thousands of Buddhists and tourists alike visiting each year. Tiger's Nest, Bhutan The Tiger's Nest Monastery, also known as Paro Taksang, is one of the most famous places in Bhutan, a remote South Asian country. The monastery, a revered holy place, is erected along the slopes of the Paro Valley. Guru Rinpoche, a Buddhist guru, is reported to have been transported on the back of a tiger to Paro Taksang, where he meditated in a cave for three years, three months, 
three weeks, three days, and three hours. Paro Taksang, which was built in the late 17th century, is still a functioning Buddhist monastery today. The building is located 10,000 feet above sea level, making access difficult. Although mules can cover some of the distance, it is still a long journey. Hanging Monastery, China China's Hanging Monastery is estimated to have been built in the late 5th century on a cliff face at the base of Hangshan Mountain. To construct it, holes were dug into the cliff and poles were put to support the structure. It was renovated in the 20th century. Unlike other monasteries, the Hanging Monastery welcomes Buddhists, Taoists, and Confucians. For generations, monks would have lived in near-absolute seclusion from the outside world in China's Hanging Monastery. This is no longer the case, the location is popular with tourists and attracts thousands of visitors each year. Kachki Pillar, Georgia The Kachki Pillar in Georgia is a high stone monument that houses a small religious shrine. The pillar top was said to have been utilized as a pagan sanctuary before becoming home to a Christian church about the 7th century. Despite finally falling into ruin, the monastery was rebuilt and enlarged in the 20th and 21st centuries, and a monk called Maxime Kovtarads made it his monastic home. Other monks have subsequently moved there, and they often ascend the granite tower via a metal ladder to pray. The monastery is not open to the general population. Montserrat, Spain Montserrat Monastery, officially known as Santa Maria de Montserrat, is a medieval abbey and monastery located high in the mountains of Catalonia, Spain. An early Christian chapel is considered to have been on the site in the 9th century AD, while the monastery itself was constructed in 1025. Napoleon's armies devastated the monastery in 1811, and it was assaulted again during the Spanish Civil War. It has since become a symbol of Catalan nationalism and resistance. The Montserrat Monastery is still active today, with dozens of monks living there at any given moment. The medieval monastery as well as the Montserrat Museum are open to visitors. Madonna della Corona, Italy Visiting the sanctuary of Madonna della Corona is a moving and unforgettable experience. It also demands some physical strength if you choose to hike all the way there, instead of using the little shuttle bus. Most importantly, a visit allows you to appreciate the breathtaking beauty of the location, the incredibly tall mountains on which it is built, the valley stretching below, the river Adige meandering through, and then the salmon-colored church peeking behind the crag rocks while its bell tower is forever reaching for the sky above. Ostrog Monastery, Montenegro The most prominent Orthodox attraction in the country is housed in two large caves with an outside facade that clings to a rock face 900 meters above the Zeta Valley. It is a prominent pilgrimage site that holds the relics of St. Basil of Ostrog. The vista is breathtaking. 
A smaller monastic complex in the valley below features colorful paintings and pilgrim lodging, as well as a reportedly cure-all natural spring. Tative Monastery, Armenia Monks have always had an eye for distant locations and spectacular scenery, and this 9th-century monastery is no exception, perched on a basalt ledge above a valley in southeast Armenia with vistas of snow-capped mountains. The cable car journey is breathtaking. It was a prominent religious, political, and trade center for ages, and it even had a university in the Middle Ages. It's now history, and it's been wrecked by earthquakes, yet it's still amazing. Mont Saint-Michel, France This fantastic medieval creation is more of a massive rock resting on a bay in Normandy than a mountain. Be cautious on the dunes, as tides can be unpredictable. The conical protrusion rises like an illumination from a book of prayers, atop a community of dwellings and churches, including a large Gothic monastery. Visit the abbey's interior, where centuries of shuffling monks and tourists have worn the steps to appreciate spectacular foundations and sea-gazing views.